Hi, in this video for the Telestar TD220 HDL, we're just going to basically show you how you can scan in the Irish Airview channels. Um, if you've bought a box office pre-programmed, your channel list will look something like this, where you'll just have all the free UK satellite stations, um, you know, pre-programmed by us into a convenient order, okay? So you'll have all the usual BBCs, ITVs, Channel 4s, and all the HD free, free channels that are available. Okay, so basically I'll just exit from that little menu there. So what you want to do to scan in the Irish channels now is basically go to your menu. So by default you'll be in the installation menu, you can just arrow over right and then just simply arrow down to DVB-T scan and press OK. So what you want to do here basically is just press the red button to do an auto scan. So what you want to do, scan mode using the left and right arrows at this point just change the scan mode free to air and change your antenna power if it is on change it to off and um, sometimes you can use the on but the vast majority of people you'll just be selecting off so the next thing then is you just press the ok button and the scan will start running so the scan will take two or three minutes and um, to run through so basically i'll just chat to you a little bit while it's running through here the reason that we um, don't pre-program any of our combo receivers or even any of our just ordinary um, standalone digital terrestrial receivers or serve you boxes um, ourselves is because there's a, there's a whole host of different transmitters all around Ireland operating on different frequencies. Now where we're based in the Midlands we've access to maybe to pull in some sort of reception from up to three transmitters but only one of them is really usable. Um, one of them is just appalling and um, the second one is kind of you know, sometimes it's okay sometimes it's not but the third one is bang on and where we are anyway is where we pull from is Kapoor and that works great for us but you know it may well be different from where you live so this is why we leave it up to everyone else to scan you know scan the channels in themselves so you can see it's a fairly quick process and already we're up at about 50% of the scan and uh, you can see there we haven't found anything at the moment but uh, I know myself now looking at it there I think it's channel 54 where we pull in from and you can see just above where the progress bars are you can see it's at 47, 48, 49 so we're getting up close to where where my channels will come in or from where my transmitter that I'm picking up from will appear okay so you can see here now the next one it should be and you'll see them start to appear there so there you go so you can see there now it's pulled in seven channels but depending where you live it may be the case that you actually you could pull in from two different transmitters and sometimes it does happen when we're testing boxes that we can there are occasions where depending on what box we're using it may pull in three transmitters it may pull in two transmitters and sometimes it'll only pull in the one so if it only pulls in the one it's generally going to be the strongest one anyway so you know you've nothing to worry about after that but if it did pull in two different uh, frequency or from two different transmitters, I'm just going to show you a little trick that you'll need to do afterwards um, to determine you know, which is the strongest signal and which is the one you want to keep. The other thing to notice, just when you're looking there, you can see it says 7 TV and 10 radio stations found. You want to save. So I'm just going to say OK, which will be fine. But the thing to note about the 7 TV stations is there's actually 8 TV digital TV channels in Ireland okay and where the discrepancy there is RTE 1 plus 1 and RTE Junior only broadcast at certain times during the day okay so RTE Junior only broadcast during the daytime and RTE 1 plus 1 broadcast in the evening time now the vast majority of combo receivers that we've ever tested only pull in seven at a time so it'll only really pull in one or the other of RTE 1 plus 1 or RTE Junior, depending on which one is actually active at, at the time. Now I'm scanning in the evening, so it's going to obviously pull in RTE 1 plus 1 and I can't find RTE Junior because it's not transmitting. So the way around this is, just say for argument's sake, you happen to be doing this during the daytime. So the seven channels you pulled in included RTE Junior, but you were missing RTE 1 plus 1. Then all you have to do is simply in the evening, do the scan again, and RTE 1 plus 1 will show up and then all you have to do is just basically move that RTE 1 plus 1 into the position you want in your channel list and then you'll have the 8 channels and the 8 channels will appear in your channel list and you won't have to be scanning for them again. So I'm just going to hit the OK button and it's just going to save the data and what I'm going to do now is just exit out of that. So you can see, basically when you scan in all the channels, they'll come in at the end of your channel list. So you'll see there, I'm in a, 
a hun uh, position 125. If I just arrow down a bit, you can see I'm back to position one, which is BBC One Northern Ireland. So basically, there's another video in the series showing you how you can um, sort and delete your channels. You know, uh, you could delete unwanted ones or perhaps, you know, move them into a different position, things like that. And if you look at that video, it'll show you how to move all the Irish digital serve channels into the top of the list into position one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, whichever you prefer yourself. Um, it's a fairly simple process and fairly quick and once you have it done and saved you won't have to do it again. So I would say most people would want to do that because they probably want to put all the RTEs and things like that at the top of their channel list. That would be tra the traditional thing to do and have them followed by the BBCs, ITVs, things like that. So I said to you earlier in the video I was going to show you a little trick to determine um, you know, which transmitter you should pick. Now it's a pity actually just as I'm scanning here that it didn't pull into two transmitters so I could show you a, a com compare and contrast but what you're looking for is if you press the OK button you'll get a little menu like this if you press it again you'll see you'll get another a little info bar okay now it goes off after a few seconds but what you want to notice I'm going to press it now in a second what you want to look towards is the bottom right and it's a green bar and you can see there it says 60 percent okay so the one, the one on the left that was kind of pink or purple uh, is 99, but it's the one on the right, the green one, that'll be the one that'll kind of fluctuate in, you know, signal strength and things like that. So I, I know from your own experience, that's pretty much average for what I do get around here. Um, if I was able to pull in the second um, the second most strongest uh, trans or transmitter on this, you will see that it's coming in at about 36% generally, what I do find, and that's just slightly below what I need to get a good stable signal. And you could see if, if I was able to demonstrate it, the picture would be a bit blocky and patchy and things like that. But definitely um, the one that I have there with 60% is always the best one anyway. Um, so that's basically it, how you can um, tune in your Irish digital serve channels on the Telestar TD2220 HDL.